Next is the uh, manager uh, council discussion on the beach committee report. Is there a beach committee report? Uh, yes and no. <laughs> There's not a written report because we, uh, on the beach committee, we exceeded our annual budget for administrative of zero, uh, meaning I didn't get it typed up yet. But the, um, what I can report back today is that before our next meeting, I'll have something in writing summarizing the issues that the beach committee was looking at over the past couple of months and the recommendations that we're making. I can tell you that the recommendation of the committee with respect to two issues is uh, on the four by four expansion. If you remember, there was discussion starting back in the summer uh, and opinions expressed on both sides of whether there ought to be a physical expansion of the four by four area from its present terminus at uh, Sandy Lane. And the Beach Committee discussed that on a number of occasions. We went down as a group over Labor Day weekend, uh, reviewed the entire site. I had a presentation from uh, Lieutenant Messino from the Beach Patrol and discussed alternatives. And the, the bottom line for the Beach Committee is we are recommending no expansion of the 4x4 four four area. Uh, the other thing had to do well, was about actually eight things, but the other thing I can tell you about tonight with respect to uh, sale of ice cream on the beach, which is a subject you may be somewhat familiar with. Uh, we talked about a lot of alternatives that had been presented at different times about how beach, should there be ice cream sales on the beach, and if so, how should they be handled? The recommendation of the beach committee to council is going to be that next year ice cream sales be permitted on the beach, but only by authorized veterans who have the, uh, the county um, authorization card and without the payment of any fees other than a uh, mercantile license fee and details obviously to be worked out, but the committee felt it wasn't um, productive to go into next year trying to refine the bidding system that we had used to attempt to get third party vendors onto the beach to sell ice cream because of the myriad problems that that generated with which everyone is familiar. Great. Thank you, Rick. And uh, I haven't seen the um, recommendations in writing, but I, I concur with uh, my own feeling is I agree with both of them. You know, I think uh, we talked about the ice cream last in, in previous meetings, and uh, I, I think it's the best just to let veterans sell it on the beach with an approved card and, and whatever rules we put in place for, um, for the sale, um, but not looking to uh, generate um, the fees putting it out to bid and then winding up with uh, a bidding process that none of us were comfortable with. Are you going to limit the uh, that's, number that's, of vendors? I think that has to be worked out somehow. But I don't believe we can because we go through the mercantile license. But, you know, with the economies of scale, people are not going to go down there and sell ice cream if there's too many other people selling ice cream. Right? They, you know, businesses tend to regulate themselves. 